let's take a look at Android app compatibility for the Playbook. Join me in welcoming Nedim Fresco from RIM. How are you doing, Al? How are you doing, Nedim? Um, so, uh, so how's Android go. going to work on Playbook? So yeah, I'll show you a couple of things. Uh, let's just make sure that the screen is up there somewhere instead of me describing it. That's right. Wait, 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 wait. There we there go. There we go. OK, so uh, what better way to start a player than uh, with a player application? Um, so before I start with uh, the applications, I want to say a few words about how the applications are integrated on Great. the playbook. So um, first of all, applications are applications, and we make our applications look uniform. So every application you see here is an Android so, application. So, so these are all Android applications. All Android and applications, and they appear in the home screen like any other application. So that's the first thing to point out. It's kind of what you'd expect as an end user, right? Exactly, and you, don't, right. you really don't want to confuse your users, right? Yep. The second thing is, well, Android devices have buttons, and we don't have any buttons. So how right. are we going to do menus, and how are we going to navigate, right? right? So that's the next thing to show. So here's a sample application. Well, if, we want, if I want to see um, options, I do my top to bottom swipe. That's how it Great. works in um, um, pretty much every app uh, in, in Playbook, and that's how we do it. Great. If so I it's wanna, totally integrated then. Yeah, totally so, integrated. So we've, ma we've mapped the Playbook gestures right. into exactly. the Android player. Great. Home is home, and um, menu is menu. And finally, there's a navigation bar at the top for, for back. So mm -hmm. if you want to go back, you can actually do that. So uh, without, but, but that's a real yeah. working app, right? This oh, isn't yeah, just a mock-up. Oh, yeah. Let's do something. Yeah, let's just uh, start playing with some apps. So here's a little music player app, very silent, but OK, good. Right, and it works. It has other super exciting features, like a uh, drum. Let me do this. Oh, you are. Real very talented cool. work, real Thank talent. Thank you. Thank you. I had good. to do that. I'm yep. impressed. So um, you know, this is a piano application. So from an end user perspective, because everyone's going to be wondering, you know, how is this going to help the app catalog? How hard is it to get these apps into the player? Well, here's the interesting thing. So I'm going to show a couple more apps. And in, in, in none of these apps did we have access to any source. In fact, the ISVs didn't even know that we were doing this until we asked for permission to show it on okay. the show floor. <laughs> OK, you said that we got permission. It's OK, no lawyers. Worries. It's OK, we have Covered. permission. Yep. So um, yeah, so they gave us permission, but, but we didn't have the source. We just took the binary package, and they just worked. They just worked. So, That's fantastic. Well, let's take a look at another one. So uh, here's a 250 solitaire games application for those um, obsessive solitaire players out there. So um, now let's uh, actually get it to uh, deal. Uh, let's see. You know, and while it's dealing, you know, let's go pick another application here. There's another one. Very, very uh, interesting application here. Just follows your thumbprint with some enticing music. And Swarm as well. Very cool. So this is just working out of the box. Let me just show you a couple more that are more, uh, you know, complex. Sure, let's do it. Here's an IMDB application. So this basically shows you, you know. OK, so this is a live app. This is actually connecting out through the networking um, infrastructure absolutely. It's playbook. It's Wi-Fi connected. It's a live app. Beautiful. It's the real thing that you would actually play with in, on any Android um, device out there. So you know, let's take a look at a random show. Mm -hmm. My kids tell me it's good, of course. OK, yeah. sure. Hint, hint, wink, wink. OK, it's a bunch of pictures. You know, actually look Very at great. Great performance. the show. Oh, all live and connected. Here's another app. This one's called Game Center, which is basically a um, video game review site. Okay. So we can actually see um, the most popular video games out there. You can actually see um, user ratings and uh, availability, et cetera. You, know, you can see screenshots. Once again, performance is great. All right, we so I got, I got one more question, because I'm sure it's on the audience's mind. How do we get these Android apps? Well, the way you get them is through App World. So, so one app experience. One app experience, and this is how you get it. Now let me just show you that as well. So this is our um, you know, App World um, evaluation server. And um, there's a couple of the apps that I showed. IMDb, for example. Here it is on App World, ready to download and install, just like any other app. That's fantastic. So That's really well integrated. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nedim. All right. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure.